16-year-old Priti Sugdiyo of the Burbays High School is Region 6's top student at CSEC with 15 Grade 1s and 3 Grade 2s. Latani Shulls reports. The preliminary results for the 2023 Caribbean Secondary Examination Certificate or CSEC examinations were released on Thursday, August 24th. 12,118 students wrote the 2023 examinations as compared to 10,368 in 2022. There were 75,644 subject entries and an overall pass rate of 65%. This newscast spoke with one outstanding performer at this year's examinations. 16-year-old Priti Sugdiyo gained 15 grade 1s, 11 of which were straight A profiles and 3 grade 2s. She is the top performer at the Burbies High School and the top student in Region 6. When asked how she felt about her success, Pretty explained. Well, I feel very grateful and of course I'm very much thrilled, but uh, I owe it all to BHS and my teachers and of course my parents. Pretty shared how she prepared for the examinations. Um, well, at the beginning of fourth, in, of fourth year, I tried to get all of the SBAs out of the way. And then I focused solely on content, completing the syllabus, and then as it came closer to exam, just past papers. Pretty spoke about some of the challenges she encountered while preparing for and during her examinations. I wouldn't say that there was much challenge, but of course there were sacrifices to be made, like a lot of sleepless nights. Um, of course, the SBA deadlines were very much, you know, tough. But yeah, everything was okay. Some of them were kind of structured weirdly or like not according to what the past year papers were like. But of course, um, I tried to get prepared in all the aspects, so it wasn't too bad. Accounts was kind of like a lot of theory, which isn't usual for the paper two. And um, Matt's paper two was, I'm happy that it came out, yeah. <laughs> but everything, everything was okay. Okay, she told this newscast about her career plans. Well, I was in the science stream, but of course, being that I took all of these subjects, I was kind of like rotating from tech stream, business stream, everywhere. Ms. Sugdiyo revealed how her siblings, parents, and teachers assisted with her success. Well, I'm leaning towards histotechnology, but uh, as of right now, I'm going ahead with the clinical laboratory science program. Histotechnology, well, it's basically uh, a, a branch of clinical laboratory science where these scientists uh, do microscopic study of body tissues, like, for example, biopsies and stuff for, like, cancer screening. And the reason that I'm so, you know, hyped about all of this is that I basically grew up in a lab. <laughs> My parents, they were always working, you know, uh, doing their best to offer these tests, which could help these people who are sick and, you know, in need of it. And that has always been my inspiration, to help those who cannot exactly help themselves. She extended gratitude to the persons who rendered their assistance to her. I have three siblings, two sisters and a brother. Being that all of them did excel in their academics as well, that kind of like driven me to like, you know, give it my best shot as well. <laughs> So, yeah. Also, they were there for moral support. My eldest sister, Rosa, she has always been there. And Nirvani, well, she hooked me up with all of the lessons for these individual subjects. And my brother, well, he has always been there throughout. Well, basically, they were all of it in every aspect possible. They did it uh, financially, uh, everything. They were, they were the foundation for everything. Well, my teachers, well, my very wonderful teachers, especially at Barbies High School, they were all very kind, so helpful, and they were very understanding too when it came to like SBAs and like deadlines, which I'm very much grateful for. And also my lessons teacher, shout out to Miss Davy if you're watching this, um, she has been there from the beginning as well, always guiding and supporting. And my other teachers, Ms. Baksh, Ms. Cole, Sir Lee, uh, they were all wonderful. And I'm happy that I had the opportunity to work along with them. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank God because, you know, with all that faith of like keep going to give me the strength, uh, I wouldn't have been here today. And also um, to my 
friends. Thank you guys, you know who you are. Especially my best friend, Divishti, who has always been there. By my side, helping me with SBA, studying along with me. Thank you very much, Dio, and congratulations to you too. Also, to my friend who broke the news to me, if you're watching this, thank you. <laughs> this is her advice to students who will be sitting the CSEC examinations next year. I would say for subjects like chemistry and physics, geography, those subjects, you really need to complete the syllabus. So I would say uh, no matter how late it is, try to get into like a private lesson so that you know you're up to date with everything. Reporting for Channel 8 News, I am Latani Shaw.